guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode one of season two of Love Live Me Too Saki School Idol Club. It's finally here. I mean, you know, after the <laughs> crazy fuss of April Fools and getting that PV of the Yohane, um, I think it's Sunshine in the Mirror thing. And a lot of people freaking out over it, literally laughing about people being like, oh my god, you got people who are falling for this. Because, uh, like, I knew. I was like, um, um. <laughs> but if it was true, I would have been really excited because, you know, a lot of people know Johanna is my best girl for Sunshine and stuff. But, yes, I'm excited to see my Niji Kasaki's Little Club Girls again. And how, it's been, how long it's been, I'm hoping, from what I saw in the poster... The Queendom girl and I think the girl who said shit in the game, they're going to be popping up in this. I don't know if they're going to be like main main as our main girls or they're just going to be like how um, Arise and uh, that one other group and the other group that I'm also comparing superstars group to where they're like, oh, they're here, but they're not here as much, but... Other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Look at my baby sleeping. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus, they're going in. They're going in. Oh my God. My baby. But go down. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> the rainbow line. oh my god uh, <laughs> oh, I can't it's too much already Oh, she about to be second best girl. Oh my God, Kota, you gonna be competing, baby? Oh my God, look at her, she's so gorgeous. Oh. Damn it, this show gonna get me back into the game. <laughs> Oh, 
Mm-hmm. Got to see your girlfriend in the morning. True. Oh, I am the worried wife. She's like, let me make sure my wife is okay. <laughs> oh, babies. What's up? Oh, but they are. That's a good question. Baby with her switch. <laughs> Okay. The baby's just working hard. I love it. That's the thing about video editing. It's one little thing and then it's something else and then it's everything. I mean, it's okay, but at least you're giving people opportunity now for it. I forgot how much I love you in this, because she's just so...
compassionate and just sweet and caring. And of course, she cares about her girlfriend. I'm like, huh? You precious baby. Oh. Once again, worried wife. Mm-hmm. Well, that's like, um, freaking what's her face from Superstar. What? Because... <laughs> Yeah, it really is. But once again, that's how passionate you ton is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, aka helping her girlfriend and her girlfriend's friends. something happens
you know, yeah, it is. You just get to see behind the scenes. Be like, no, no, technical difficulties. She just literally oozes every bad bitch, like, current fave Aikatsu member who is, like, the extra one. And I love them so much. And I love that about her. Like, oh. the fact that she was prepared. Damn. This one song is going to get me God, I can already see it now after I'm done and I edit this. I download it. Look at it, it's so gorgeous. Like, she freaking oozes big, big, not only Kaede, Takagaki energy, but also freaking, um, Chizuru energy from Million Live. Like, oh. Kultaha? Babe, yeah, you competed. <laughs> but I might put you both at number one, because I saw all my precious baby. That's a badass bitch. A badass bitch. Badass bitch. Oh my god. Well, that's fucked up. Yeah, she's going to be her own thing. Mm -hmm. Meaning she's going to be your rival. Mm. 
Mm. Once again, bad bitch energy. I am always like, yep, let me just go ahead and tell my girlfriend I love her, but like this. initial thoughts on the second season I like the way that this is going I love the fact that we're going kind of back kind of how with like you know how like Muse was always dealing with the rival group of her eyes and stuff but we didn't get to see them all the time now we're getting more of like traditional ILS shows where it's like oh hey here's a rival but they're also your friend and we're going to be competing with each other every single week love it I do love the fact that I'm going to butcher her name I'm literally just going to probably give her a nickname, Queendom Girl. Um, she basically, like, challenged you and said, what's the reason why you're in this club? Why are you in this? Like, you should pre pursue your other dream and kind of step away from the this. Because you do love school idols, but you don't love it enough for you to be a part of the group. You're you're loving it more as a supporter rather than being like, yeah, I want to be a school idol, this is that, and the third. So it is going to be interesting to see how the character of you is going to find her answer by the end of this show. I mean, technically by season one, she did, but this is now continuing more into that story. Is that Ami? That literally sounded like I It did. I, I, <laughs> I mean, you know what? It would make the most sense because of the fact is, um, I'm not going to do how I did with freaking, um, what is it? Freaking, uh, the horse girl anime. I literally cannot remember the name. I'm buzzing. Forgetting it. Um, it could be the like <laughs> it's just a connection because it's so funny because if that is her it'd be like oh hey <laughs> it's Kasumi from Bandari slash Kyoko from D four DJ so I wouldn't be surprised if but those two girls I think but I really know the girl on the left hand side is one of the girls that is in the school idol festival game that I really thought there's like there's a whole bunch of characters in there. Um, 
and this is kind of like when we got to season one of this show, now continuing on to season two, that I thought we were never truly going to see because it, like, at first they were very similar to, like, Idolmaster, and Idolmaster still, really more a Cinderella girl still does this because there are still a whole bunch of girls and Cinderella girls that do not have voice. So you have the voice girls and the unvoiced girls. And the unvoiced girls will sometimes get like a little moment of recognition. Or it's just like, oh, hey, if you're a fan of this girl, like, hey, she's popping up at the game. Or like in an event or something or in a picture. Or like what they did for the April Fool's joke this year was we got to take pictures of the idols and such. And I looked at a video earlier today that featured freaking uh, Kirarin and Anzu. Or no, no, no. Before the Kirarin and Anzu one, it was Ramiru, Akira, and I literally cannot remember the Apple girl's name. I can't remember. Oh my god. I think, And it starts with an A, too. Um, and this one unvoiced girl popped up, and I was like, oh my god, are they giving her a voice today? And, and no, big old April Fool's joke, no. <laughs> but honestly, I really think this is a good start for season two. I'm really excited for the challenging, like, things that these girls are going to have to face. Overcoming, you know, their hopes, their... It would be getting rid of rain. Their fears, everything else in between, and how, like, it's going to not only maybe affect you, but also affect Amiru and Yu's relationship because of the fact is they're still together and they're able to see each other every single day. But I feel like there's going to be a point that now she's in a different, she's doing piano and stuff. There's going to be times where you might be busy, like really, really busy and she won't be able to be there with Ayamu and such. And so we might get another Ayamu focused episode later on down the line where she is upset about the certain things and she's going to confront you about it or you is going to confront her about it. They're going to cry. I'm going to cry and we're all going to be happy, happy, joy, joy by the end of the series. But yes, I'm really also excited to see, I think her name is Miyu. The girl with the um the blonde short bob hair as or pixie cut hairstyle because I think she does also sing as well. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Um, plus the girl who works with um, I'm blanking. She's a good. I think she's a good. Our student council president. Yes. Um, because of course she's an idol as well. Because I think literally. I th I think it was almost a year into the game she was announced that she was an idol and that she had an outfit. I don't have, I don't think I have her card. Like I said, I, you know what? Yeah. After this, we're downloading the game. We're downloading the game. But yes, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of season two of Love Live Nichisaki School Idol Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for episode two. Bye, guys.